there are pens that you would buy knowing full well what you are getting. And then at times, we'll come across pens that seems a bit ordinary. But you can't just figure out what it is, no matter how many hours you spend searching. I would like to present to you one of those unicorns here today. A Dunhill made by Montblanc. If you enjoy the content and wish to support the channel, a subscribe and a like go a long way. It helps more than you think. Thank you. Alfred Dunhill, or usually known as Dunhill, is a British brand focuses mainly on luxury goods. And in the previous century, they were more known for their tobacco-related offerings. In the year 1977, something interesting happened. They started to acquire Mont Blanc. And that was the time this little fountain pen was born. As the famous German brand began to discontinue their more affordable lines of pens, they started to create more avant-garde models to compete with the Italians, namely the VIP and the Noblesse. Tracing back at eBay and auction listings, I found that these Dunhill fountain pens were running around with the name Gemline and were offered in various finishes, similarly to those of the Mont Blanc Noblesse Generation 1, 2, and 3. There were numerous examples with uncanny similarities. Further inquiry and googling reveals that this is not the only case where Mont Blanc create writing instruments for other brands. Now, it has never been confirmed by either Dunhill or Mont Blanc that they outsourced the production of their writing instruments, but somehow it raised a question. Is it disingenuous to label another brand's product as your own, even if you owned the majority amount of shares in the company? It is a tricky question to discuss with a clear answer in mind, since the production of fountain pens especially the nib and feed parts, require a lot of precision machining, and thus, not everyone could create a good nib. I personally think that with this particular example we have here today, Dunhill did a good job with a distinguishing design and making it different enough from the usual Mont Blanc Noblesse. The choice of a sterling silver cap and body gives the instrument the heft and feel of a well-made pen, and will be ready to age with its owner for years to come. Even after more than 50 years of age, the pen performs wonderfully, while also developed a gorgeous patina with hints of its past glory. The slimmer profile isn't a drawback at all, since the weight of the silver gives you that feel of it being a solidly made instrument that can last a lifetime. What do you think of these Dunhill fountain pens in general? Do you own one of them? Comment below. If you would like to see more fountain pen related content, follow me on Instagram at a writing guy or go straight to a writing Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.